Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Today we have the secret lives of color. Uh, I'm going to tell you five things that I love about my koala table because so many of you have asked me about the table and its different features. So I'm going to do that today. And I have a little bit of goodies to show you. Ah, gotta love some fabric. Gotta love it. Okay. So we're going to start off with the secret lives of color. Today we're in, we're still in the pink section for all of April. Uh, and just an observation that I've had just sort of hit me because as makers, particularly quilt makers, the color of things are super important to us. The book, the author is all about the story. So I'm finding it fascinating because some of the colors are just not things that we would like, like today's that we would probably normally be looking for and using in our quilts. We probably would sometimes, but for her, it's all about telling a story for each of these colors and what colors had really sort of compelling stories to tell. So today we're on puce. I had to look up how to pronounce that. It is kind of an icky pinky purpley thing. Uh, <laughs> and it is French for fleas. <laughs> Lovely, right? I think of Pepe Le Pew. So it's puce. Um, so I found, whoops. I found this color, which is a little bit lighter, but I'm okay with that. And I'm going for a green background on this particular block. Now I want to, okay, so the story in there, you'll, you'll, um, you'll love it because this color actually became, which was a little bit more muddier than this, became super popular by Marie Antoinette when she was a very young queen. Uh, and the story tells you about how that happened and why it happened. So that's that was really, really interesting because the royalty of any of these countries back way back and now still do dictate fashion and color and what is going on. You know, people want to emulate them and be like them. So I wanna show you the blocks so far and a little bit about how I'm thinking through them. We're on row two. And so this block will go uh, over here. And then there will be the small block above and then two other over here. And then the color pink will actually finish up down there on the bottom. But what are we doing here? So I have backgrounds of green, pinks, different shades of pink, not too dark and then uh, aqua. So I'm pretty much trying to stay with just these two, that little print there and the dot. So I have to balance color at this point. So I'm looking and deciding, you know, what background, like when I come over here for the last pink, I really need a pink background. I'm trying not to do white backgrounds too much. I had, to, I did a few, but I'm going to scatter those a little bit. Um, so over here, I will end up having to do a light pink. So that's just kind of the thought process over here. There's two more and it could probably handle it. I don't know if I'll do green or what I'll do over there. So today I can't sew any more sections together cause I'll have to wait till the next color. At this point, figuring out the colors for my secret lives of color <laughs> quilt is I'm actually more concerned about those background colors. Now the different pops of the uh, color of the chapter, I am not concerned so much how they flow. I am mostly concerned about how all those pinks, the medium to light pinks, the black and whites that I'm using, uh, the greens and those little aquas, how they show up. And that is really the structure of the whole quilt. These, these other colors that are the story are just sort of like little sparkling stars. The background is the part that I'm now focused on. So that's kind of an interesting way to look at working on this quilt. I didn't know when I started exactly how it would play out. I had this idea to use those uh, three colors. And then as I made a couple blocks, I realized, you know, I really need to, well, and white, three colors in white, is that I really needed to keep it maybe tighter to two colors and just little, put little pops of one of them. So I picked the pink and the green and those sort of softer shades. And I basically have all those fabrics gathered up. Like I have a bunch of greens and pinks. So they're all there and I don't have to go hunting around each time. I've got them all in the project bin. Well, I can show you the project bin. It's full. It is my one project bin that I, I accidentally dropped and broke the lid. And, you know, so I thought, well, my shelf is tall enough that this one can like pile up a little bit higher than so I don't have to close it. <laughs> so it always sits on the top of a stack, uh, but everything is in here. This way I have, 
you know, all the colors. See here, you can see. I have all the colors for the backgrounds, the pinks and the greens, all pulled. And I can go look for some others, but pretty much I pulled them all at once so that I'm ready to go with that. Ah, so <laughs> I'm really happy with this plan. It is working for me really well. I like I like the whole process that this is doing for, you know, for my brain and for coloring. It it's just really fun. And to celebrate the section pink, today share a pink quilt over at our community page, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. I would love to see some pink quilts today. Okay, what are five things I love about my koala table? There's probably a lot more. There's probably a six one, I'll give you six. So there's storage. Uh, I'm gonna do a little video here, but I'll sort of run through them and then I'll, I'll show you. There's storage, so there's always great storage in the tables. The, they are customizable. So the tables come, when you order it, you don't just order one size fits all uh, for these koala tables. So they're totally customizable. You can uh, either order online and customize it yourself, or you can work at a, with a dealer and they will, you know, like any of the sewing centers have them that have dealers and they're used to figuring everything out. So there's some different different sizes of units that you can get and then different accessories. So that part is really wonderful and, and just, just different add-ons. Your space might not be able to have a back table like mine does. Uh, so you don't have to get that. It can, you know, you can add, that's an add-on or a customizable. Uh, these, this one has great drop leafs and I will show you how the drop leafs work. But this is the one and there's one on the other side. They have beautiful soft closed drawers, uh, which I'll show you in the demo. Uh, the heights is, there's different heights of the table. So I have one that's also cutting table height. So mine is sort of a dual purpose, which means I do sit on a taller chair and I had to get used to that, but it didn't take long. Um, I wasn't sure, but you know, the koala chair that I use, which is this guy, you know, he's, uh, has the height that I need and that all works out really well. And then number six is, oh, six, there we go, <laughs> is that there's all different colors so that you can get the color that coordinates. So like I have the, the white, you know, and there's uh, really dark woods, there's medium tone woods. Uh, that way you will have something that's beautiful in your space. Okay, so let's take a spin around with the video. I'll show you close up here a few of the things that are great. First is storage. So there are cabinets here which have these nice soft closes. Let me get the whole door open. Nice soft closes. You close it and just goes on in. And so there's three really nice big drawers in here which are full. Uh, then you have these shelves units that you can use or not use. Like I always use this one on the left. So I'm sitting here at the machine like this and on the left side, I always have this one open. But on the right, if I were to need more storage, I can just pull this one out. And I think I've got the foot locked on it down there. But see, yeah, see this one could just pull out and do the exact same thing that one is. So I could have two here at the side. You also have it's very customizable. So this is got peg hooks and things. I believe on some models you can get thread in here. So you could get like thread storage. Like I think there's like maybe little shelves. There's all kinds of different things that change them around. Like and I have also storage drawer down here. So there we go. So that storage can come out and I do have thread here so I don't have to go hunting for it when I'm piecing. I have a lot of those common colors in there. Now I also have storage on the back side. So I'll show you that. So this is my cutting table on the back side and I have shelving. So you can see that. And a view from the back side where I work. Got a, a mat, so it's, I've, I have a concrete floor, so I have a rubber mat to stand on. And here's a cutting surface. surface. And you can see that if that machine goes down, I have that entire surface over there to also use if I needed to lay something out or needed to do some, maybe, you know, a big project that I was going to not be sewing for a little bit yet, but maybe a lot of cutting and sorting that I can do this whole big work surface. And I do keep my ironing board out there on the end. Um, and of course, because I film every day, 
all my camera equipment sits on mine, but you wouldn't have that. It would be lovely for you. <laughs> the machine itself can drop down, so I can go ahead and run it and put this machine all the way down and then take this insert and there's a total flat one. That way I can use the whole top as a work surface. Otherwise, I just generally, as you see back there, have um, the corner where I stand on the other side. I do all my cutting on that side. And because of that, it's also customized so that I've got a rester for my feet because this is cutting height and not general sewing height. So I've got a taller chair and I have a rester for my feet. At the Koala Studios website, you can see more about this. You can go to a, a sewing dealer that carries them. You can find the dealers on their website as well. So you can go see it in person and try out all the things and look at all the different options. Uh, but they are wonderful tables. They are um, just gorgeous, sturdy. My machine does not shake and <laughs> does not rattle and roll at all when you're you know, pedal to the metal. They're really, really awesome tables. So I hope that this helps those of you who are looking for a table. Okay, I have a picture here of Robin's carrot bags. This is so darn cute. <laughs> she says she harvested 40 carrot bags. <laughs> because she's a school teacher and they are for her was it, second grade for her second grade class but she says she's actually been making these little carrot bags for years for her students so isn't that darling look at that whole basket full of carrot bags I've just managed to make one so far <laughs> I've got to hurry up I've got to hurry up oh goodness okay the other thing I wanted to show you is remember my woodsy quilt that I was sending to my very good friend well I sent it to Roseanne who was she said shocked she was so surprised. She was so shocked. She said nobody had ever given her a quilt before. She inherited one of her mother's uh, that she had to finish, <laughs> but she says nobody's ever given her a quilt and Roseanne deserves a quilt. Uh, so she said it was just perfect. She loved it. And she sent me this picture of her sweet kitty sitting on the quilt. <laughs> She says she got on the quilt right away as soon as it came out of the box. So that was so fun to be able to surprise her because she wasn't expecting it. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> All right, let me show you real quick. I've got some goodies that came in from some of the clubs that I'm in, and I'm going to show you that. So this is the Ruby Star Club, which is uh, the Ruby Society, Ruby Star Society Club. So that's from the that designer's um, you know, for that fabric line, Ruby Society. So they come with a pattern, which is super nice. So this one has, when you, when you are in the Ruby Society Club, you also get a spool of thread that they coordinate the color. So that's cool. And then you get a pattern to make the, that these will work in. You have to buy a background and then that will work with it. But there, this, this combo is just, ah, oh, it just is so nice. I really like it. Navy and yellow. This bright yellow. That just, and this whole color combination. And there's some dark teal and a bunch of these. These would be good for our Secret Lives of Color for some of the upcolor coming pinks. Fuchsia. There's, a, there's animals on that one. And the flowers. It's got some gold, gold on the fabrics. Oh, looky here. Look at that yellow. It's got little crowns on it. So cute. This looks like, I don't know, like parts of alphabets. It's very, ge you know, there are a lot of geometrics. There's a tiny print with gold stars. Oh, this is cool. What does that look like? Oh, look at that. Yeah. So you can actually still get this bundle. I just checked. And as of filming this, the bundle is there. Oh, that stars on navy. <gasps> this navy is very rich. I love this navy color. And then on gold. Yeah, I, I'm, this is my shade of gold. This is my shade of yellow. Um, even down, yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that is the Ruby Society. And then I wanted to show you one other one that came in, which was red, red, everything red. So this is the So Colorful. Now these do not come with a pattern because these are for building up your color stash. So if you are, you know, want to just get, and they're all fat quarters, same with the others. So, and this one comes with a guide so that if you are looking in here and you see one of these and go, oh yeah, this is going to be perfect for my quilt and I just need a bit more of it. So they've got the color, the, um, 
this, this is called a SKU number, S-K-U. So this is basically the fabric line number that you can just plug this into the Fat Quarter Shop and search and it'll come up. So let's take a look at these and see. This one's got some little hearts and um, X's and O's on it. A nice twiggy print. Nice thing with these, uh, these so colorful samplers is there's a variety of styles so they don't stay just to one style like like the Ruby Society is, you know, one fabric line, one fabric company, uh, and their style is very much similar to everything. Uh, so these will have a whole lot of, of different styles. There's a pretty little uh, plus sign on there. Oh, these are mini sewing machines. Look at that. Okay, I have to get you right in here. Get in your business. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those tiny little sewing machines. So cute. And then this geometric is neat. I think this would be great like in sashings maybe, like cornerstones, I don't know, little mini sashings. That's really cool. There's some with words, be strong, explore. That's cool. There's a beautiful floral. And then another style of floral. So there's several styles of florals in here, which is wonderful for variety. And red, red, everything red. So when we get to red section of Secret Lives of Color, I have so many wonderful reds. Nice. Now overall, I would say this bundle is, a, you know, keeps in a range of red. So they don't go too orangey uh, and it's not too light or too dark. So the range is pretty even, which is nice. So sometimes they'll have more lights or darks. It just depends on how they put it together. So that one is just amazing. So very, very nice. Good for my collection. Okay, so today we have Your Secret Lives of Color number 26, which is Poos, <laughs> like Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> I had to find a way to say that word. I'm probably not still saying it. Puce. Oh, it's not, doesn't sound nice, that word. But anyway, well, it's supposed to be fleas. It's flea in French. So there you go. And you have uh, wanting to know about tables and what are some wonderful aspects of the koala tables are the storage, the customization, the drop leafs that you can get, the soft closed doors, which are beautiful, the dual heights so that you can work and sew on the same machine. And of course, pick the color that works for you. All right, my friend, I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.